Hi everyone, myself Morgan, happy to present another interesting video from Excess. And in this particular video, I'll be talking about uh, a very interesting way of selecting a stock. And this is done by doing uh, participant wise open interest analysis. And this particular data is even available from nsaindia.com. But we have a very interesting way of presenting, presenting this particular one because that helps us to find a stock. And in this particular video, I'm not going to teach the concept. Rather, we will present you how to find that odd man out. But of course, we have a plan of making some videos which explains the concept as well. So in, in one minute, if I make you understand the whole screen, the very first bar talks about the date, which is 7 July 2022. All this data belongs to and the segment which I have showed at this moment is index segment. But if I wish to toggle to stock segment, I can go for stock segment. And if I wish to go to 6th July, I can do. Food. And of course, this is pretty much comfortable for you to operate it. And if I go to 7th July stock segment, I can see that FIA open interest is that they've reduced their long positions and they've also reduced their short positions. And the total amount of buy trades they placed is close to 1.5 lakh contracts and short trades is also 1.55 lakh contracts. So these informations are available here with respect to stock futures. And the, in stock options, especially call options, FIs have added a long as well as shorts, but client added 28,000 contracts. And so for you to you know get the feel of it, kindly look at the sixth data. DAA created a short positions in call options. They did nothing but creating a short positions on seven, fifth they created 13000 short positions so on on fourth they created short position they have not created any long position so this is one classic example how a fund house generally approaches the markets and especially the dias there are so many dias but surprisingly there are very few dias are active and they are also known for creating short positions in uh, in index option i mean stock options Okay, coming back to the, the original idea, like, you know, uh, how to select a stocks. Let's say, let's take on 7th July, on 7th July, if you look at FIs have reduced the long positions as well as reduced the short positions. And if I go to 6th July, FIs have created a long positions and they've reduced the short positions. This is pretty straightforward that FIs are going long on 6th July, on 6th July. So if I, if I go right here on the, on the right hand side, you can see that the FIs have created a long positions. I mean, this is all belongs to FIs and this segment is belongs to client. This is the retail people. So it's really straightforward. FIs are going long and clients are creating short. On 5th July, FIs are going long and clients are creating short. On 4th July, so you have this history for a reason number of days so this is straightforward that on fifth and sixth fis are actually turning on long side but we know that it is a futures especially stock futures fis are actually going long on fifth and sixth meanwhile we want to know which stocks they may be interested in creating a long position look at this the fis have added a long position which was which most likely be supplied by clients and pros so in that context we wanted to have a contracts which are gaining the maximum open interest. In the same line, I get a stock like LNT. Look at this. If I click on LNT, here you can see the LNT chart on that particular day. And this is 6th July. So this is the intraday chart of 6th July of LNT stock. So if and this is the equity, okay. And um, on on 6th July equity. LNT behaved like this and you see there are a couple of volumes have come up and followed by the prices were slightly moved up. So and what you see at the bottom here is the the recent days of trading volume along with open interest. So if it is a blue in color, it, sh it shows that the uh, positive change in open interest if, and if it is in red color, it shows the negative change in open interest. But out of the total volume, only this much is actually gained. Let's say you you created a long position and you transfer the long position to me and I've taken the long position and I've transferred to someone. So end of the day, the contract transferred between five people, but only one position taken the long position back home. So the volume may be five, but the open position is only one. So we want to know the volume along with change in open interest, which talks about the significance in terms of picking the call. 
so on this grounds we see that lnt got some reasonable uh, because the, the total trading is 12584 and out of which 2000 contracts gained same similar to that ongc as well but if i look at the ongc prices i don't see a yeah here also there is a one volume spike happen and, uh, and here also there is a bit of buying have taken place and if i look at hdfc bank the, the particular day the price went down so if at all if fis have created a long position the price shouldn't be uh, you know a structurally going down because your strong hands coming and buying a stock they may be accumulating a stock if you look at even lnt it is down but they were able to sustain the whole downward move so we, we can get a clue that lnt ongcs may be the the kind of fis interest but not like hdfc life on this particular day and what you see at the bottom is that particular day volume along with change in open interest and in the same lines when we were looking at it we surprised to see we surprised to see that uh, and if you if you look at uh, 7th july which is yesterday if you look at yesterday and among call options state bank of india call options got some reasonable open interest and if you look at that state bank of india 560 call options 560 call options which added 593 contracts but the total volume is only 101 so if i click on sbin you can see that the, this particular contract which is 560 call option contracts have never got such open interest but on 7th july they got a massive open interest but it is a one-sided open interest i mean someone dumped it and they have not taken it back okay it's, it's very clear and the reason why we say it is a dumped it because um this this trades happened between 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock if i'm right 11 to 12 and maybe about for 20 25 minutes the trades have happened because on on 7th july go and check out the price of uh 560 call option and the most of the trades happen only at that point of time because out of 801 trades 593 open interest have changed so whatever happened it happened only on that particular period the most of the trades happen only on that particular trades out of 801 contracts i am very confident that it is a selling because one is it is out of the money contracts and number two meanwhile the price uh, although the spot prices were going up but this was significantly shorted by someone so this this is significantly shorted by someone maybe institutions is what we feel because they it's it's, it's a quite a good number of contracts being supplied by a very short term so it's it's very likely that um uh, for 560 is expected to act as a very strong resistance uh, for a for this particular contract i hope you find it interesting but we have a big plan of making this available even for public and uh, we we have a plan of coming out with such a frequent videos talking about the fund flow analysis if you find it interesting please let us know your thoughts and your expectations in the comment section so that we can make it maybe weekly basis or a daily basis to talk about the fund flow analysis so do let us know about your interest in the in the below comment section hope you find this video uh, interesting for the time you spent with us thank you